guys, it's Sarah, and today is Wednesday, which means it's Top 5 Wednesday. As always, this little shindig was created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey. I'll link both her channel and the Goodreads group down below. If you can't tell, I've rehearsed this and said this many times. You might notice a little something different about my video. I got lighting. So natural lighting won't ruin my life anymore, which is great. This is my attempt, um, these lights and this globe, at having an interesting background because this wall is very white and I'm very white and we match and I'm just trying to do something interesting. I don't actually know if I'm succeeding. Also, I feel like my lighting looks weird, so if anyone knows how to use a lighting kit, leave me some tips below. This week's topic is top five banned books. I don't know if you knew that was a thing, but especially here in America, we love, love, love honoring the First Amendment by banning books. We feel very strongly about freedom of speech, as long as you're saying what we like. So I thought this sweater would be just very fitting for this video because we just believe in liberty and freedom and I think banning books is a way that we exercise that freedom. Getting into my list, coming in at number five is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. So it just really makes sense to me that this is banned because the grammar in it is just awful. Mark Twain wrote it from Huck's point of view and Huck doesn't have an education so I think if children read this book they're gonna grow up to have very bad grammar. Also, it teaches children about equality, and we can't have that in our country. Coming in at number four is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Again, this makes sense because I think if children read this book, they will be violent. They will create their own Hunger Games. I think on the playground, they will split into districts, they will pick a tribute from each district, and they will kill each other. So I think it makes a lot of sense that children shouldn't read this. Also, it teaches a lot about rebellion and anarchy and hating the government, and I just don't think those are values that we should have in our children. Coming in at number three is Scary Stories by Alvin Schwartz. Now, this book was not banned from my library when I was a child, and it was very unfortunate because I read it and it gave me nightmares. So, I don't think anyone should ever read this book, children or not. It's very disturbing. It's very scary. It's aptly named Scary Stories. Coming in at number two is Goosebumps by R.L. Stein. Now this series is an atrocity. It features hamsters that have eaten green goo, living dummies, dead houses, you name it. There is very dark imagery in this series, and I don't believe children should be exposed to it. I think we should burn these books, actually. And coming in at number one is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. If you allow the Harry Potter series into your home, you are essentially allowing Satan into your home. This series will cause your children to begin practicing black magic. Before you know it, your children will be trying to practice magic on the family dog, on kids at school. This book series is not appropriate. They're friends with gingers in this book. It's very hard for me to talk about it because it's such a dark series that I just don't think our children should read. I hope this video was very educational for you and it really explained why it's important that we ban books and protect the minds of the youths who are the future of our country. I hope you realize that I've been joking this whole video and I don't believe that books should be banned. I've read all the books that I've mentioned and I think they're great. I think they're fun. I think they've got good messages. Although Scary Stories really is scary and I really did have nightmares. <coughs> also, unrelated side note, I don't know if any of you saw the video where I battled a demon centipede, but I just wanted to show you my battle wound from killing that thing. Look at my knee. It actually still hurts a lot. These scars don't the moral of this video is that books shouldn't be banned. It's weird. It goes against the First Amendment. It's just, no, 
If you were surprised by any of the books I listed that they've ever been banned, let me know down below and let me know your thoughts on banned books. Thanks for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a great day. Inside, so the first. Wrote it from Huck. My name is Sarah without an H, and I do approve this message.